Welcome to another edition of Talk City Greensboro, produced by GTN, featuring interviews and events happening around town. It's an easy way to stay in the know while you're on the go. Subscribe to Talk City on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or SoundCloud so you can keep up with what's going on in Greensboro City government. Yes, that's right. I am hosting one <laughs> last podcast. This is Devin Smith alongside with a face that you see all over GTN and a voice that you should get very comfortable with here on the podcast. Co-hosting with me today is Rosemary Plyman. How you doing, Rosemary? So honored to be with you, especially on this last day, Devin. Yeah. We're going to yeah. miss you. You rock. Thank you. All right, what's up, Greensboro? We would like to thank you for returning to another episode of Talk City. Today, we're talking about an event happening at a downtown business, a super fun event. If you like books, if you have kids who like books, then chances are you know who the Wimpy Kid is. So yeah, we're talking about Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Uh, 15 books out so far, and this week drops number 16. Mm -hmm. And Shannon Jones is manager of Scuffered On Books, here to talk about a chance to meet the author. Hey, how are you? Doing well. How are you today? So good. All right. So tell us about this event coming up to meet Jeff Kenny. So this is a super, super cool event uh, with Jeff Kenny, the author of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books uh, for his new release, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Big Shot. And it is a socially distanced drive through book release event. So how it works is we're actually closing a street in downtown Greensboro uh, and you will drive through all these really cool books themed stations that are all themed around Diver Wimpy Kid Big Shot. And then at the last one, you will actually get to meet author Jeff Kinney and he'll be giving you uh, your signed book at the event and you can take pictures with him and it's it's a whole yeah. way we can do it outside and safely do a kids event for this yeah. book. So much fun. Yeah, absolutely. So how about you kind of give us a, a background or overview of the series, um, just kind of what the books are about and without maybe giving away what this new one's going to kind of hit on. <laughs> well, so, you know, anybody who uh, reads the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books um, know they follow two friends just kind of going through the misadventures of being in like late elementary school and, yeah. and like getting into like, I think early middle school or like mm -hmm. the, the prospect of going mm -hmm. to early middle school. Yeah. Um, and this one, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Big Shot, is actually going to be all themed around sports. It's about a field day competition. Uh, yeah. So we'll get to see see the guys out doing some, like, wreaking havoc on the field day. Or, or trying not to, but, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah, in these. <laughs> yeah he, he sometimes has some disasters mm -hmm. when he is yeah. um, just in his daily life at school and with friends. He, he has some missteps sometimes, yeah, yeah a little bit. Um, these are, for those who don't know, these are graphic novels. And so these weren't around when I was a kid, you know. But they are so appealing to children, and they read them over and over. And I know I have a son. He has all of them, and they're lined up, and he has read all of them multiple times. What is it you think that about this story really just kind of speaks, especially to boys, I think? Well, I, I think we all know and remember that period of, like, as you're nearing the end of elementary school, getting to the, like, 10, 11, 12 age group, where you don't really feel like you fit anywhere a mm -hmm. lot of the time. And you feel like you kind of have no idea what's going on a lot of time yeah. in, in your life and relating to other kids and relating to school and adults in your life. And I think Jeff Kenny does a really great job capturing that feeling in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. And the thing I love about graphic novels, and if you're considering getting graphic novels for your kids to read at, that are suited to this age group, is I think they really bridge the gap between picture books and chapter books mm -hmm. so well. I, I know for a long time, um, there was kind of a like, no, we don't, it's not too many pictures. We need kids to be reading quote unquote real books. Yeah. Whereas to me, as, as a children's book buyer and bookseller, I'm like, no, no, if this is what they're reaching for because it's got enough of something familiar and engaging, like, you know, that they remember from picture books, but then you're still getting the content and the words that's what's going to help bridge that gap for them from picture book reading to independently reading chapter books. So I am all about kids' graphic novels. Like I carry so many at the store because that's what, like if that's what you wanna read, I am that adult who's like, oh my goodness, you're excited about a book here. Read yeah, whatever book that is yeah. for you, like read it. Like that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I think that's funny that you mentioned that because I think that that was pushed to us very hard. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm 
kind of midway between a generation after Rosemary, right? Mm-hmm. And so that was kind of the the push. So I actually gravitated more towards magazines and newspapers right. yeah. because they were shorter articles with pictures and things like mm-hmm. that versus having to sit through a Harry Potter book or something like yeah, that right. because that's what they were like, no, you're, you're done with that. You don't get pictures anymore. Mm-hmm. You have to imagine it yourself in yeah. your own imagination. In a thousand so, page book. Yeah, and I thought that it, it made it difficult for me to get into reading because of that, mm-hmm. right? So I think that that's actually pretty cool. What so, is it? Can I no, jump in? What is yeah. the age group you think is best for, or, or grade level even for these um, books? Depending on a kid's reading level, I usually say like third or fourth through seventh grade is really going to be the key area for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. But really, if your kid is slightly younger than that and a really, really strong reader, or if your kid is slightly older than that, but you still think the story would resonate with them, like I... I, I'm, I play it fast and loose with the uh, recommended reading <laughs> ages in terms, unless there's something like objectionable content as you're getting to like way, way older kids. Right. Like yeah. I say, if it if you look at it and it appeals to you, sit down and read it. If your kids are younger, you could always read it with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know we do that with my six year old. He's not quite there yet, but we sit down and read a lot of the graphic novels with him. So, absolutely. All right. So Jeff Kinney's coming. And this is a drive through event. That's kind of the big word right there, drive through. So you talked about it a little bit, but can you give us kind of some of the details in which people need to understand about the event so they're not expecting one thing and getting another? Sure. So this is a really cool event idea that was hatched actually in 2020 during the height of COVID quarantine uh, with Jeff Kenny and his publisher Abrams Books. And we, they wanted a way to be able to still do the book release and have kids meeting the author, but have it be socially distanced and outdoors. And uh, the format they've come up with is a drive-through book release. So what's going to happen is once you get your ticket, it is a ticketed event, and we have tickets available on scuppernongbooks.com for this event. You will pick a time that you're coming, and you actually come to the event in your car. A ticket gets you a copy of the book and one car for the event. You and your family and your kids come in the car and actually drive through the event. The event's designed so that all the interactive stuff that you're doing can be seen and interacted with from inside your vehicle. And you drive through these really cool big, you know, like the balloon arches and the whole, they really pull out all the stops Mm -hmm. for this. Um, And interact with all these different stages of the event. And then the final stage is Jeff Kinney is there to actually give you your book in your car and pose by your car to take pictures uh, with you and, and your family. And it's really cool. He actually has this shovel looking thing that's a six foot long pole so that he can stay socially distanced while sliding your books into your window. Ah. It's a really, because again, they did this um, for the last book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, The Deep End in 2020. And so all this was actually hatched as a COVID safe event from beginning to end. The entire event has come about because we wanted a way to have a stay in your car, but still meet the author, still get to have the full book release experience. Experience. Absolutely. That's awesome. I know you, scuppernogbooks.com is the place to go, right? Yes, scuppernogbooks.com is where, and you'll see it as soon as, like, we've got a big banner uh-huh. at the top of the page, like, as yeah. soon as you open our website where you can click to find the ticketing information. And there are two options for bundles that you can get. Can you explain this? Yes. So um, your ticket is basically just the cost of the book, mm-hmm. and you can either do just the new book, just Dire Wimpy Kid Big Shot, which is $14.99 plus tax for that one. Or the we are also doing a bundled option where you would get a signed copy of Diary of a Wimpy Kid Big Shot and a signed uh, copy of the Rowley Jefferson's Spooky Stories. So for those who don't know, there's two spinoff books for the mm-hmm. Diary of a Wimpy Kid series that are from the perspective of his best friend, Rowley Jefferson. And so you would get the newest Rowley Jefferson book and the newest uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Big Shot book both signed if you do the bundle, which is, I believe, twenty eight ninety nine. And okay. is Riley the super friendly, awesome yes, kid? Yes, okay, that's yeah. the first, yeah. the first <laughs> spinoff is the Riley Jefferson super awesome friendly uh-huh. stories. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. And it, are there is there a long line of of those books as well? Those are the only two of the spinoffs so okay. far. But I think okay. uh, I don't know if uh, Mr. Kenny has plans to do more, but I hope he does. And we will also just let everybody know for anyone who's doing their holiday shopping early, there will be additional signed books of the entire Diary of a Wimpy Kids series available for sale as well. So even if you and your kids go, but you're like, oh, my nephew loves these books and would love a signed book for, you know, for the holidays, yeah. we, we can hook you up with that as well while you're there. Oh, okay, cool. absolutely. And so another thing that we probably should mention is, is that while Skepernon Books is sponsoring this event, it's happening outside on a yes. Greensboro street, not 
at the bookstore. Yes. So we are we're really excited to be um actually staging this event outside of the Greensboro Children's Museum downtown. Yeah. And they've been great with us with like advertising and helping us out. We're we're so thrilled with them and DGI for helping us out with this event. Yeah, okay. So this is coming what what I'm sure you know the address to to the Children's Museum. Oh, I'm putting yeah, you, you on the you spot. You did put me on the spot. <laughs> I, I know that one actually. Yeah. It's a 220 North Church yes. Street. North Church um, Street. So and, driving down be, North Church. You won't Church. miss it because I <laughs> yeah. mean it's going to feel like a parade, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a big event. And but but just so everybody knows, it's not a walk-up event. You do have to reserve a space um right. with for your, your ticket. Car. Yeah, for your car. <laughs> um on scuppernogbooks.com and then you'll be on our list that you can pull up and drive in and do the whole thing. We're really excited about okay it. because you're here we can't let you go without kind of you know we're, we're getting into the holiday season and you know there may be some folks listening who are not necessarily diary of wimpy kid fans and they have some other uh wish wishes on their list or people they want to buy for do you have some other children's book suggestions that you want to hand out uh, yes, uh, there's if you're looking for a Christmas book specifically, one that I am loving right now is called The Christmas Owl. And it's actually a story of the little owl who last year they found stuck in the tree that went into Rockefeller Center, the oh, big yeah. Christmas tree. But it is a beautifully illustrated book. So I was telling you before we started that I am a big illustrations uh-huh. person. Um, yeah. I love well illustrated kids books. It's a big part of the story for me. So that's one that I think is going to be a big hit um, this Christmas. It's just a be- absolutely beautiful yeah. book. Um, and I'm trying to think of some other ones that are jumping out at me because I've got all my Christmas orders in right now. Um, <laughs> but you can always go. And it, yeah. I mean, Scuffer mm-hmm. Books is a really fun place to shop and yeah. to, and to you know, mm-hmm. to have that bookstore experience. And, and you'll be there so you can yes. give people recommendations yeah. on the spot. I would love to give you recommendations. <laughs> and it's definitely something too, uh, because you know, the book industry, just like all other industries, has been hit by a lot of delays and a lot of stock issues and stuff. So we are encouraging people, if there's big best selling books that you know you want to get for people this holiday season, please come down and get them early and come talk to us and let us make recommendations for you. Because if you wait until that like week or two before Christmas, it's possible that they won't be doing reprints at the publishers mm-hmm. of a lot of the big name books that you're looking for. Yeah. So definitely this year is another year that you're going to want to shop local and shop early to make sure that you get the best selection of the things you're looking for. Absolutely. Is there anything other, any other type of events or anything, any type of maybe reoccurring theme nights that happens at the <laughs> store that you want to get out there to the community? Um, well, keep an eye out for we are thrilled to be uh, we haven't been able to do a lot of kids events, obviously, because of COVID and the Delta yeah. variant. But we are thrilled to be restarting uh, starting in November, our drag queen story time that we do in conjunction with Stonewall Sports League here in town. Okay, And it's uh, something fun. It's on a Saturday, one Saturday a month that you can come down, read a story with one of the drag queens in full, re- like full drag regalia. Uh, and then yeah. we always do a craft with the kids. It's a really fun, interactive thing thing we are asking that everyone remain masked in the store yeah and we are asking for vaccine cards for people ordering at the cafe so it is a very covid safe uh situation and that's the only way we really felt comfortable restarting kids events so absolutely, okay. absolutely. thank you for doing that yeah. Yeah. yeah so what's the location where's where's skipping on books what what's mm-hmm. the the normal book hours or the store hours that that people need to know if they haven't visited before so we are at 304 south elm street um if you know where cheesecakes by alex is we're kind of catty corner <laughs> across uh, Elm Street from them. That's usually my landmark I uh-huh. use for That's people. That's a good one. <laughs> loves Cheese Kiss by Alex, yeah. including me. <laughs> and uh, our, we are actually open seven days a week again. Um, we are noon to six on Sundays, uh, 10 to five Monday through Wednesday, and 10 to nine on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Absolutely. So we've got a wide range of hours that you can come in. And we would love to see you. We have so many good books right now. We've been joking that because of different publishing delays and how things got moved around with COVID, September through November this year is absolutely stacked. Yes. Every single day that we have books coming in, I'm like, how do I not spend my entire paycheck on all of the new releases that are coming yeah. out? Because there are <laughs> so many good books coming out right now for kids yeah. and for adults. It's it's a great time. Love yeah. it. <laughs> Love it. Well, okay. So once again, about that event, don't forget um, the, if you want to meet and get a, a signed book by Jeff Kenny, author of Diver Wimpy Kid series, the new book is Big Shot, right? Yes, Diver yep. Wimpy Kid Big Shot. And the event drops this be, week. Yep. Yeah. The, the book comes out this week. The event is actually going to be Wednesday, November the 3rd. Right. You got to yeah. register though now because there are only yes. 250 spots, right? Yes. So, so we are filling up. So filling please. up fast. Scuppernogbooks.com. You'll see the banner right at the top of the homepage. Register. Get your spot in line. It's going to be a ton of fun. Hey, thanks so much for being with us. Thank yeah. you all for having me. It was so nice to come on. 
Thanks. Tons of fun. All right. Thank you all for joining us today. Stay tuned weekly by subscribing to Talk City Greensboro on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And don't forget, you can download Talk City from SoundCloud. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for tuning in to Talk City. Be sure to watch GTN, your official source for news and information about the city of Greensboro. GTN is available on Spectrum Channel 13. AT&T U-verse Channel 99 and North State Channel 31. GTN also streams live Roku and the city's website at greensboro-nc.gov. Have a good one. Bye.